Global grain import and export trade plays a crucial role in ensuring global food security and promoting international cooperation. Grain is one of the fundamental needs for human survival and development. Due to factors such as climate change, population growth, and resource limitations, many countries rely on imported grain to meet their domestic demands. China, as a populous country and a major player in grain trade, has recently drawn market attention by cancelling a significant amount of grain imports. This article will explore the importance, challenges, and future development directions of global grain import and export trade. According to a report by the Nikkei Asian Review quoting data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, China, the world's largest grain importer, cancelled 1.104 million metric tons of U.S. corn imports originally scheduled for late April to mid-May. This cancellation accounts for 7.4% of the annual U.S. corn exports to China. Data from China's customs shows that in 2022, U.S. corn accounted for 72% of China's total corn imports, but in the first quarter of this year, the proportion dropped to 37.8%. However, the United States remains the top source of corn imports for China, followed by Brazil and Ukraine. China is largely self-sufficient in staple grains such as rice and wheat, while other grains are supplemented through imports. China accounts for 59% of the world's soybean imports and 14% of the world's corn imports, ranking first in both categories according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations FAO, data from 2021. Due to factors such as the westernization of diets, China's demand for soybeans for oil extraction has increased, and over 80% of the consumed soybeans rely on imports from the United States or Brazil. With increased meat consumption, it is also challenging for China to achieve complete self-sufficiency in feed-grade corn. Approximately 6% to 7% of China's corn demand is met through imports from countries like the United States. Looking at the overall picture, China's external dependence on grain was only around 1% in the late 1990s but has steadily increased over the years, reaching 19% in 2021, the highest level in history. The report points out that over the past 20 years, China's grain imports have grown multiple times, serving as a key factor in supporting the international grain market. If the procurement volume decreases, it may lead to changes in the supply-demand balance in the global grain market. Why has China cancelled a significant amount of grain imports? The main reasons are to achieve grain self-sufficiency and ensure domestic food security. China, as a country with a large population, has enormous demand for grain. To meet the domestic market's needs, China has been striving to increase its own grain production, encouraging agricultural development, and improving agricultural productivity. By increasing domestic grain production, China can reduce its reliance on grain imports and ensure a stable supply in the domestic market. Additionally, food security is a critical concern for every country. By enhancing its own grain production capacity, China can reduce dependence on external factors such as price fluctuations in the international market, trade restrictions, or supply disruptions. In this way, China can better cope with potential risks and ensure a stable food supply for its population. The largest global grain trading market is the United States. The U.S. is one of the world's largest grain-producing countries, with vast farmland and advanced agricultural technology. As a major grain exporter, the U.S. supplies a significant amount of grain and agricultural products to the global market, including wheat, corn, soybeans, and rice. U.S. grain trade has a significant impact on the global grain market, covering numerous countries and regions with its trade activities. The scale of the U.S. grain export market is enormous, providing a crucial supply source for international grain trade and meeting the food demands of many countries and regions. The fluctuations in grain trade between China and the United States also reflect the competition of comprehensive strengths between the two countries. As the decoupling between China and the U.S. intensifies, China's choice to reduce grain trade with the U.S. in order to protect its domestic food security is a wise decision. What will be the future trends in grain import and export trade? This is a question that grain traders must closely monitor. A recent analysis by the U.S. Forbes website suggests that China is increasingly aware of the importance of grain production and supply. 
According to the Nikkei Asian Review, China's grain imports have increased several times over the past 20 years and have been a key factor supporting the international grain market. If the procurement volume decreases, it could lead to changes in the supply-demand balance of the global grain market. Due to the rise in international grain prices and escalating tensions between China and the United States, the Chinese government attaches great importance to food security. Information from the official website of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange shows that China, as a major importer of corn in the world, is shifting its import destinations from the United States to places like South America. After the first shipment of Brazilian corn arrived in China in January, South African corn also made its first entry in May, indicating the diversification of China's corn import sources. From January to April, China imported a total of 8.523 million tons of corn, a decrease of 8.4% compared to the same period last year. Among them, Ukraine accounted for 3 million tons, or 34% of the total, the United States accounted for 2.898 million tons, also 34% of the total, Brazil accounted for 2.215 million tons, or 26% of the total, and Myanmar accounted for 166,000 tons, or 1.9% of the total. Following the opening of the corn trade route from Brazil to China in January 2023, the first shipment of feed corn from South Africa arrived at Makong Port in Guangdong on May 4, totaling 55,000 tons, marking the official opening of the South African corn trade route to China. This year, China has consecutively opened up two new corn import sources, Brazil and South Africa, which has changed the previous situation where China relied heavily on the United States and Ukraine in the Northern Hemisphere. It has formed a circulation pattern where corn-producing countries and regions in the Northern Hemisphere, such as the United States and the Black Sea, complement those in the Southern Hemisphere, such as South America and South Africa. Analysis suggests that this is conducive to further balancing global seasonal and regional supply fluctuations, stabilizing the global supply chain system. The trend of South rises, North declines implies a significant change in the previous dominance of the United States in China's corn imports in 2023. In addition to natural disasters, the escalating geopolitical tensions also suggest that China should strengthen risk management in grain imports and not put all its eggs in one basket. Diversifying the sources of corn procurement can further reduce import risks. So, how can grain importers and exporters seize more business opportunities in the changing grain trade market? Build a wide trade network, actively seek and establish partnerships with grain-producing and consuming countries. Establish stable relationships with multiple suppliers and buyers to ensure the reliability and stability of the supply chain. In addition to China and the United States as major grain trading nations, you can also consider popular countries such as Brazil, Russia, Argentina, and Australia. Enhance market research and intelligence gathering, stay updated on supply and demand dynamics, price trends, regulations, and policies in the grain market. By conducting market research and gathering intelligence, you can understand market demand and opportunities, and develop corresponding trade strategies and plans. Additionally, you can leverage big data to understand the latest market trade trends. In the 10 data system, you can view product trade trends related to grains. Moreover, access to extensive customs data can help you identify grain importers from different countries, allowing you to find precise customers more quickly and facilitate transactions. Improve supply chain management capabilities, establish an efficient supply chain management system to ensure timely delivery of goods and quality control. Collaborate with logistics companies and warehouse service providers to optimize logistics processes, reduce transportation costs, and ensure smooth grain trade operations. Global grain import and export trade plays a significant role in ensuring food security, promoting economic development, and fostering international cooperation. Despite facing challenges, by strengthening international collaboration, driving sustainable development and technological innovation, and applying digital technologies, we can collectively establish a more stable, sustainable, and equitable global grain trade system. For grain importers and exporters, opportunities and challenges coexist, and in the face of an unstable grain trade landscape, new business opportunities may arise.
Click on the link in the comment section to contact 10data and don't forget to mention my name, Rochelle, to receive an additional 3 months of system access. Stay tuned and follow us. See you in the next video.